Hi, Nikki here. If you have lots of data, you probably often want to know how many items meet a certain criteria or rule. For example, how many of all these transactions were based in London? Well, the good news is there's a function already built into Excel that does just this for us. And we're going to learn how to use it by using the Insert Function tool to get help. So here's my data and here's where I'd like the summary to go. So we want to start where we want the answer to go and then we're going to click on this FX button here on the formula bar. So in here I can search for any function. I want one that's going to count based on a particular criteria. So I'm going to type in count and see what comes up. Okay, so here are the different functions that count. And what we can do is click on the ones that we're interested in and read the description beneath. So let's try count if. There we go, it's going to count the number of cells that meet a given condition. Perfect. Now all functions in Excel have several parts or arguments. This function has two arguments, that's why we've got two white boxes here. First is the range, that is where to look. So we're going to select all the details in the centre column. Next we're going to click into the criteria box and if we look underneath it tells us that this is what we want to count. In our case we want to count London and we've got that in a cell so we'll just click on it. If we didn't have it in a cell we could just type it in inside speech marks. Now my favourite thing about using the FX button is that you get to find out the answer even before you click OK so you can see that underneath here. And even better than that, it will let you know if there's any errors or problems. So if you see any little red messages to the right here of one of these white boxes, you'll know there's a problem and you'll know which bit needs fixing. But ours looks great, so I'm going to click OK. And there we have it. Of course, if the data changes, our answer will automatically update too. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye for now.